Welcome to the Writer's Life, a place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, taste of my particular Writer's Life, and where you get... Oh, we always like that, right? And where you get the truth about the Writer's Life. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, smash that like button, if you can. So, today I'm going to talk about um, something that's really cool about the publishing business, and that's uh, reprints, new editions of your previous books. So I have three new editions of three of my best-selling books coming out um, very soon. Um, I thought I'd show you like a little history. This is my very first commercially published novel. This is like an old, this is like drawn from a library somewhere. Uh, it was originally called As Catch Can, and I know it's backwards there, or whatever, but um, Delacorte put this out in 1999, and uh, yes, it is, a, it is indeed a shitty cover. <laughs> so, um, when the paperback came out, they changed, they switched it up, and they came out with a little bit better cover. But this one wasn't that great either, because it showed, like, you know, kind of gave the air that this was a prison novel and it really wasn't a prison novel even though it starts off in a prison it just it, it no pun intended but it breaks out so that was like and also the title as catch ken the original title of the book was the innocent but uh they wanted me to change it because some other author was using the innocent but like it turns out like in a million authors have used the the innocent you know and continue to do so um so as you can see in the beginning i showed you um a cover of my book, The Innocent. It be, uh, As Catch Can became The Innocent after I got the rights back from Delacorte and sold it to another company. And when that that cover was much better, and when that book came out, um, unlike Delacorte, uh, The Innocent became a massive bestseller. It sold like 100,000 copies in like three or four weeks and, uh, um, and led to another big deal with a big publisher. So... Uh, um, and I think with the second publisher, it sold maybe like 20,000 copies or something like that. Anyway, and so like the follow-up was Godchild. This was Delacorte's follow-up to As Catch Can. I don't know if I'm confusing you yet. Um, and they just sort of crapped this one together and sh threw it up against the wall to see if it would stick. And, you know, that was it. I got the rights back. And another publisher published it, and it... Sold quite well, tens of thousands of copies, probably twenty or thirty thousand copies, and uh, now we're on to the remains. This is the Thomas and Mercer version. The remains has sold, I would say, between the first edition and the second edition, between both of them, probably close to two hundred thousand copies. Um, but being as it, it's this Thomas and Mercer is an Amazon publishing company, there's a whole huge audience that has not seen this book. So I'm excited for it to be uh, republished in, a, in its third edition. Um, but it just shows you, like, where publishers, where the business people who run these publishing companies, where their heads are at. Like, you've got you've got three books that have sold, you know, hundreds of thousands of copies, and they're like, you can have your rights back. Like, <laughs> instead of, like, reissuing it, reissuing it themselves. But, uh, you know, hey, their loss is my gain. So, uh, you know. Um, I'm going to have a whole new life with these books again. So that's one of the cool things about publishing, you know. So I had to make the decision. Um, was I going to bring these books out under my own label, Bear Media? Or was I going to give them to yet another third publisher? Um, and I called one of my publishers. I called the guy who owns the joint. And he hasn't gotten back to me. And you... you <laughs> I'm laughing because he's going to watch this and be like, oh, shit. Um, so I'm telling you on video, you've already lost this one. <laughs> I'm going to do it under bare media. Um, and I think I'm going to do the other two as well, I think. I don't know. I, I, I will eventually talk with him because I, he's publishing a couple other books in the in that series. So we'll see. Um, but this one's mine, all mine. and Because also I have a follow-up called... Um, what is the follow-up called? Uh, oh, God. I forget. Um, 
anyway, but there's a sequel to this called The Ashes. And then I'm going to write um, a third in the trilogy called The Bones. And uh, then we'll put them all together and it'll be, you know, in one big box set. So that'll be very exciting. All right, so anyway, you're probably totally confused about all this stuff. But anyway, um, I have new books coming out um, that are re reprints, new editions, and that's what this was about. All right, so I hope you're having gear enough for a good weekend. Um, I know I am. I'm going to be going, doing a little ski vacation next week, so uh, I'm going to be working hard all weekend. All right, man. I will check with you guys later.